Hi Josh, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to make a quick video response to your uh, rant about censorship. Can I just say that I am undeniably, unequivocally in agreement with you? Which, hey, I know that uh, can be surprising at times. Uh, we have our ideological differences. But I couldn't agree with you more. And your analogy of the restaurant was a wonderful example uh, in regards to that censorship. I think too many people confuse privileges with rights, and rights, you know, are guaranteed by the Constitution, by our democracy. Privileges, however, are not. And to uh, expand on your restaurant analogy, um, say for instance this restaurant becomes too restrictive. They start kicking people out for sneezing too loudly, or you know, not ter talking a certain way or, you know. The beauty of our democracy com in combination with capitalism is that if a business such as YouTube or a restaurant becomes too restrictive, then people stop going there. Word of mouth spreads and people say, oh gosh, I'm not going to that restaurant. Uh, you know, they're gonna, who knows if they'll kick you out for any reason. And then that business starts losing money. And that's, you know, and it applies to YouTube as well. YouTube doesn't want to get too terribly restrictive, but has certain guidelines that, you know, universally, or at least in democracies in the world, are agreed upon. You don't want people who are inflammatory, overly inflammatory talking about, uh, you know, singling out individuals, or you don't want uh, lewd acts or behavior case in point what YouTube does allow uh, all you have to look up on YouTube is the 9-11 conspiracy theorists or people nut jobs who are thinking that it was a uh, remote control or whatever anyways there's a lot of videos on YouTube about this conspiracy theories to the point where it just angers me it just irritates me that these people are so ignorant and so blind and then that they're they're just and they're afraid they're afraid to accept the truth that there are terrorists out there people who will always hate who always spite people the other thing is the neo-nazis the white supremacists or racist and there's a lot of those videos on there you know in a uh, dictatorship those videos wouldn't be allowed we say oh we just only have rated G content on YouTube so uh, going off on a tangent here, but you, I agree with you. The censorship is overblown. It's not like YouTube is the only video site. I mean, there's probably hundreds of sites that offer forums for people to speak their mind, to talk about the topics they want to, yada, yada, yada. And that's just the way it goes. So I agree with you on that. Um, also, in regards to your um, uh, not doing or not completing projects or doing things uh, for YouTube that you said you were said you would do you know I've done that too many a time uh, make a coming soon video and then it just never happened and I even I even forget to take off the video and it's like okay that, now I sound dumb but yeah don't worry about it it's my attention span just like every other person in this world has diminished tremendously and you know what seems good one day will seem idiotic and boring the next so don't worry about that um, good job on your videos and agree and again I agree 100 uh, percent we will mark this down as a special occasion talk to you later Josh bye